Hey, hey, everybody, it's your boy, Dude John here. Thank you so much for watching this video. Much appreciated. If you like the content, please hit that sub button. If you haven't already, hit that notification bell to let you know when I post another video for you guys. Hit that like button. And if you want to, drop a comment and say hi. I also live stream Monday, Wednesday, and Friday over on Trouble.live slash Dude John, 9 p.m. Central Time. Hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoy making making them. Let's get into this video, shall we? Hey, hey, everybody! This is five scary graveyards videos caught by YouTubers, put together by Sir Spooks. Spooky, spooky, spook. I always want to do that. Let's get into this video. Yeah, now, if this video is all about pistol camp graveyards. Nothing really scary about that. But if there's something in the graveyard that's not supposed to be there, well, then it's pretty scary. <laughs> they get me this time. Hello, everyone. My name is. If you haven't, if you, if this is, if this is the first time you are new here and seeing any of my scary videos that I react to, then you don't know. If you are new here, you already know why. The seeing it. Why in the fuck would you use a QZ board for one? Two, why in the fuck would you use a cruisy board in a graveyard follow dead people <sighs> I sure hope that they know how Sir Spooks to close and it. today we'll take a look at five scary graveyard videos caught by YouTubers these videos were often captured on paranormal investigations in various cemeteries around the world. So, okay. let's begin. YouTuber's G Fuel Review visited a cemetery to do a Ouija board session. Ouija board. They picked idiots. a grave that belongs to a man named Joseph, who was born in 1900 and passed away in 1942. As is the case with most videos of this type, the planchette starts moving on its own, or at least that's what the creators of the video claim. When they ask for the spirit's name, it spells out Joe. At some point, a male voice can be heard chanting Joseph from somewhere in the darkness. J O S E. -P -H. You can't really see it. You can see it. I just saw it in there. Oh. What the hell? You're lying. From Grandma. Bro, who was that? He looked like a homeless man. Bro, are you okay? Uh, bro, 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 they get freaked out and get in the car, meanwhile forgetting to end the Ouija board session in their hurry. From inside the car, one of them sees a figure at the cemetery. Finally, someone knocks on the car so they immediately get the hell out of there. They return home, visibly terrified. Should I get out and record? Hell no! What? No, no, this is what we should do. Oh my god! 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. In the video, they believe they could have been pranked by someone who heard them say Joseph and just decided to yell Joseph in an eerie way. Or maybe it's just a hoax. Sometimes it's, hoax. it's hard to tell with these kinds of videos as they do seem genuinely frightened at certain parts. We're Let me know what you guys think about this one. Nah. No, 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 no. That's one. That's one. No. This is a hoax. Definitely a 
100%. I'm saying it right now. The hoax. First of all, um, yeah, they just seem a little bit frightened, but people can, if they're good actors, you know, they can fool you about how frightened they sound, whatever. But Joseph, that many times, that clear, that loud, and it's piss dark. Clearly, they can have some hiding in the background where it won't see anybody, see it. And then the car thing, I didn't see no freaking figure that they supposedly caught on camera. And that knock, that could be from the person in the back who knocked on the window and then turned around after it was done. No. I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm calling BS. But I'm going to tell you something. If they did... Had some a spirit, a throwing that cre the crazy board. They didn't close the ritual. They didn't close it. They left it there. They really think that's gonna save them. They get uh, that spirit, whatever. That, if there's, there was a spirit who's moving the thing, can easily attach to. One of the people holding the thingy and followed them home. And then haunted the shit out of them. Especially if it was a demon. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Teenagers, I swear they're stupid. <laughs> A YouTuber captured this video in a cemetery in Mexico, okay. in which a creepy ghostly looking girl makes an appearance. As they run away from the ghost, a terrifying scream can be heard behind them. They climb over a wall, and the ghost comes into full view. They communicate with her, and she responds. Take a look. <laughs> Oh, I didn't hear no screams. No, mommy, wait. That could be a friend of theirs. Screaming, chasing them, and goofing her off. It's one of the weirdest ghost videos I've seen recently, as it at times seems like an act, which it very well could be, but still many people seem to believe in this one being authentic. Nah, nah. There's no way. There's no way that's real. Guys. Freaking. One, the guy holding the camera, most of the time, you almost see him smiling most of the time. Or at least it look, appears to be smiling for me. And that person talking back like that. It's. Now, if it were the disappearance, then there effort communicating or not and then end there maybe but I had no reason to believe this was a real ghost in my opinion Amy's crypt is one of the best paranormal investigation channels on YouTube she has visited many of the most haunted places in the world and continues to do so she has of course also visited some haunted cemeteries and in this first video you're about to see parts of, she explored a haunted cemetery in Transylvania. Okay. Among other things, they hear strange noises and it appears that a guy might have followed them. Oh boy. That bird sounds creepy, that's... Oh, it sounds like some raven coming to kill me. Yeah. 
What was that? It doesn't sound very happy, does it? It's like a baby crying. It's really cool. I can hear like noises. Clark gets that guy's following us. He hasn't come through the gates. Hmm? He didn't come through the gates. No, but he's just hanging out that way. I don't know. Can you hear that? Oh, s***. There's like a dragging metallic sound down there. In another video, she managed to explore Ghost Town and a haunted cemetery in the Chile desert. In the cemetery, That's she found exposed graves where human remains could be seen. It's oh a truly God. creepy place, and if you want to check out Amy's crypt, I'll of course leave a link in the description. Her videos are amazing, high quality, and well researched, and you should definitely give them a watch if you're a fan of authentic paranormal investigations. I mean, I, I, there's nothing I can really say. I mean, you hear the sounds and all that, but they say that they've seen a ghost or a man standing by the gate. Why wouldn't the cameraman turn the camera to the gate? I'm not, I'm not saying that they're, they're lying, but it, it's like... If you do, if you're investigating the paranormal, if you see... I granted, yes, she is. It's her channel, and she's the star of the channel. Um, even though it's not really like a star thing, but you know what I mean. Um, but if you're saying you're seeing somebody standing by the gate, why wouldn't the cameraman look, point the camera to that gate that you're supposed to see? Yeah, it could be dark and all that, but at least you're saying you're pointing the camera where it's supposed to be at. Who knows? You, you could have caught it on camera. You never know. YouTuber Harry Explores went to a haunted graveyard at night and had a scary ghost encounter. As he sits on the steps of where someone got killed, his light starts dimming and immediately after, he hears a loud sound as if someone hit the walls inside the church. He then goes to tell his friend Ryan. Finally, the church bell starts ringing. The actual reflective wall, it's called the plastic. Ryan's going to take some more photos now. He's gone all the way down the other side of the church. I'm probably a bit stupid to tell him to go down the other side of the church on his own because this is a spot where Mitty got killed. Like, it meant, it meant this curse would happen. And wow, well, my camera, my light keeps dimming. Oh, wait, now nah, what is this? Oh, wait, nah. Wait, Ryan, bruv. Wait, Ryan. Wait, no. Wait, no. This ain't fing good, bruv. I was doing that challenge, yeah? And then, fing, like, I swear, yeah, I'm not even fing pissing myself. Like, I'm not even fing shitting myself, yeah? Oh, fing hell. Oh, that bell. Me, man. This is scary. Uh, I suppose he could have told his friend to make that noise, but I can't quite explain the effect of the light dimming. Although I suppose his friend could have helped with that as well. True. But that's just me trying to see this from the perspective of a skeptic. Most people thought the video was really creepy and real and showed lots of support. Could Whether be, or not it's real, it surely is a creepy video. Excuse me. This video really impressed me when I first saw it. It was okay. captured by YouTuber Steve Unlocked and in the video he visits Cedar Hill Cemetery and he tells the story of when he was hired to videotape a Confederate memorial service in 1999. On the day, nobody seemed to notice a ghost resembling a soldier in the background. The people that hired him to film the service noticed the figure and called him about it. Take a look. Okay, so I was with my camera on the people up here, the speakers up here, and I go to pan over to the people in the crowd but what I didn't see was that 
there was something standing in the back right over there. Nobody saw it. Nobody knew what it was. I didn't see it. The people that hired me to videotape this, they actually called me and asked who that person was that was standing in the back over there. I didn't really know what they're talking about, so I go back and I review the tape. There was some type of apparition, some type of silhouette. It was a soldier standing like this. Right now, okay. we cut to the actual ghost footage from 1999. If you look to the right of the two tombstones, you can clearly see a figure standing there dressed in white. As we enhance the video, you can now see in more detail this figure standing at attention. A very compelling video, one that I'm sure many people will be fascinated by. It's also presented in a very different and respectful way compared to most paranormal videos today. So that was five wow. scary graveyards. I had to stop on Weezy board. That was pretty cool, though. How the the two the tutor, That could be him saluting his own grave, or it could be a buddy of his that died. They wanted to pay his respects. Who knows? Pretty hard to say. You never know. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. Much appreciated. I will see you guys in the next. Can't speak today. In the next video. And as always, you are loved.